Hi, Alistair Chapman, G0NEF here, and in this video I want to show you how I think you can uh, help ensure that this connector here, this is the SMA antenna connector on this radio, the TYT MD2017, uh, will be much stronger perhaps than some of the radios that are coming out of the factory. Now to start off with, I want to look at what the problem is, or what I believe the problem is, and this is just my opinion, um, I may be wrong on this, um, by taking this apart and we'll have a quick look at what's underneath here. So I'm just going to undo this locking ring here, and actually I've already loosened this one. These are normally very tight when they come out of the factory. So we have a locking ring, and below that, just get a little screwdriver here, there is a washer and then below that here there is a big fat o-ring so just in here there's a big fat o-ring and this o-ring actually sits proud of the body of the radio here so this is actually raised and the way this is supposed to work is that when we put the D-shaped washer on here and then the locking ring here and we tighten this locking ring down and we do it up nice and tight and I've watched the video from TYT of their engineers putting in a new one of these connectors and they get a special tool and they tighten this down I'm just using a pair of needle nose pliers they tighten this locking ring down really, really tight so that the locking ring crushes the O-ring that's below here. So the O-ring is crushed and by crushing the O-ring, it seals the body of the radio against moisture. Now, when you do this up tight, here's the problem. I'm just going to get a washer out of this bag that I know fits over this. So here we have a steel washer. If I just drop this over the top of here and I look in this gap here, I can see that this washer, right, is sitting on this plastic of the radio body, sitting on here. So we have two things going on here right now. This locking ring is very, very tight, squeezing hard against the rubber O-ring. And that is putting a lot of pressure, a lot of force on this SMA connector. It's trying to pull the SMA connector this way. And that's loading the base of the SMA connector under here. So tightening this ring up tight to crush that O-ring to make the radio waterproof is in effect pulling the SMA connector this way, pulling it like this, putting a great deal of pressure on the SMA shaft. Now the other problem is that the stock antenna that comes with the radio, and let me just see if I've got that here, yeah. So the stock antenna that comes with the radio when we tighten this antenna down onto the radio, and if we grab hold of this here, because you can really grab hold of this, we can tighten this down really, really tight. And that, because of the flat and wide base, this sits on the plastic of the case here, and that creates an additional pulling force on the SMA, trying to pull the SMA out of the radio. And what happens is if you over tighten both the locking ring and the antenna, it overloads this, the base of the poor SMA connector and the SMA connector goes snap and comes off like that. Looking at this, I believe there's actually quite a simple solution to making this 
work much better. So first of all, I'm going to loosen the locking ring. So I'm just using my needle nose pliers. I don't have the proper tool to do this. And I'm going to loosen this locking ring. And so you can see it's now it's just finger tight. And just screw it down to the point where it's just now just finger tight. So it's just pressing very gently on that rubber O-ring underneath. Now, if we take a flat washer like this and we drop it on the top, what we can do, and what we want to do actually, is to get the top of this locking ring, which is flat, completely flush with the body of the radio. So we want the height, let's see, the height of this locking ring here to be the same as the plastic of the body of the radio. Now, how do we determine that? Well, if I put a flat washer on here, if I press down on this side of the washer, you can see the washer tilts up. And that's telling me that currently this washer is sitting on the locking ring. If I tighten the locking ring a quarter of a turn, just a little bit, like that, and check again, it's still tilting when I press the edge of the washer. So it's still sitting primarily on the locking ring. So I'm just going to turn the locking ring a tiny bit more, about an eighth of a turn. Check again with my flat washer. And now, if I press on the edge of the washer, the washer doesn't tip anymore, it doesn't tilt. And if I look very closely, if I look, or even just try flipping the washer over, and I look in this gap here, I can see that the washer is sitting both on the top of here, on the top of the brass locking ring, and on the plastic of the radio's body. So that means that the top of this locking ring and the radio's body here are flush. They are at the same height. So now what that means is that when I screw this antenna down onto here, the load on the SMA connector is being shared by the locking ring and the radio body. So a lot of the forces now, instead of trying to pull on the SMA connector, the radio, the, the antenna, is snugging down on this brass ring here, so it's not trying to rip the SMA connector out of the radio. And that, I really do think, is going to make this a lot, lot stronger. Now, this isn't particularly tight at this point, so over time it might come a little bit loose. So there's a couple of other things that you can do. One is you could use a tiny drop of blue thread locker. This is, uh, you can buy this from any engineering supplies and just put that on the thread of this. So when you, when you put your locking ring, when you screw down your locking ring, in fact, let's do this, let's do this properly. So what we would do is you start off by putting the washer on the radio. Then we get the thread locking compound and we put a small drop on the threads just above the washer. Uh, then we put on the locking ring. Oops, dropped it on the floor. Get that back. Then we put on the locking ring and we repeat our adjustment process to get it the correct height. So again, using my flat washer, if I press the edge of the washer, the washer's tipping up. So the washer is currently sitting primarily on the brass locking ring. So tighten the brass rock locking ring a quarter of a turn. Check again. Nope, still tipping up. The washer still tips when I press the edge. So tighten the brass locking ring. I'm just going to go about an eighth of a turn. Check again. And now it's flush, it's flat. And if I check, if I look 
in the edge here, I can see that the washer is sitting both on the plastic here and on the brass here, so any load is being shared. And then what I'm going to do, the final thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to add a rubber neoprene washer. You can get these on eBay or an engineering supply. Um, I can't think, I can't remember what the dimensions are exactly offhand. I will post that in the comments for you. And then simply place that over here. And this is a, a, a stock size neoprene washer. So what that means is that when I screw on this antenna, the forces are now being shared between the plastic body of the radio and that brass locking ring. So it's a really good fit, this O-ring, uh, this washer fits really well. Let me just uh, get this out. So it's this brass ring that is taking the, the pressure of the antenna. And this is, I mean, particularly if you're using a third party antenna with a smaller base, when I screw this third party antenna on, it's snugging down onto the brass locking ring. So instead of snugging down onto the plastic body of the, of the radio as the standard antenna does, which is trying to pull the SMA connector out of the radio, it's trying to pull the SMA out of the radio, out of the radio and that causes the SMA to fracture. We're now snugging down onto the brass locking ring and it's just like doing a nut up on a bolt. It's just the only thing that's taking the load really is the brass locking ring. You're not now trying to pull the connector out of the radio. So it's much less likely to break. Once the thread locking compound has dried, that should stop this from coming undone. If you use a blue thread locker, it's semi-permanent. So you should still be able to undo this in the future if you need to, to undo it. And I believe that this really does help this situation hugely. We are still snugging down on the O-ring, so the O-ring is still doing its job, but we are not over tightening this. And I think that's a huge part of the problem. I've seen that video of the guys putting these in and they get a special tool and they really tighten this thing down. We are not tightening down the bolts on a car cylinder head here. We're just putting a little bit of squeezing force on that O-ring just to hold it in place and to make the radio waterproof. We don't need a huge, huge amount of pressure. And then of course the other problem is because this antenna has this wide flat base, it's really easy to over tighten this again. And by over tightening this and over tightening this, you're basically trying to rip that SMA out of the radio and it snaps. But by getting the top of this brass ring, the locking ring here, flush with this plastic lip on the radio, Assuming the base of your antenna is flat, whether it's the stock antenna, a third party antenna, you're going to be screwing down against the brass locking ring and that's going to take a lot of the pressure off this SMA and hopefully prevent them from breaking. I present this video to you purely as for information. I believe it's worthwhile doing this, checking this, getting the height of this set flush and level, I really think it's going to make a big difference to how these last. Um, you do so though at your own risk. Um, it's not a official modification or anything like that. It's just something that I believe really should be done at the factory. I think this is how this is supposed to work, having looked at this more closely. You shouldn't, you definitely shouldn't just really, really screw down on these. That's really putting too much stress on this connector. I also think it's better to use a third party antenna with a narrower base. You can't get as much grip on it, so it's harder to over tighten it anyway. I don't like this particular design. If you're worried about dirt getting in here, if you're using a third party antenna, a simple little neoprene washer on there is gonna keep the dirt out. Antenna's still secure. You don't need to over tighten these. So there you have it. Something that I think will 
I think this will actually almost completely eliminate all the problems with this connector. I think the basic problem is that that nut is over tightened in the factory and that's overloading the SMA. So there you have it.